Well, I decided to make a tilting trike, the reason being I wanted to keep it narrow and I didn't want it to fall over when we're going around corners. Um, it also makes it more aerodynamic and that's quite important with this particular vehicle I have in mind because I wanted to make it electric and therefore the less energy it uses the better. Um, I decided to use lithium yttrium which is a new chemistry for the batteries. I have a 7 kilowatt hour pack, uh, it runs at 72 volts, um, there's 100 amp hour batteries uh, that drive a three phase uh, brushless uh, AC motor. Um, to keep the thing narrow, I decided to make it tilt, so we've got a narrow track vehicle and uh, I decided in this particular case to have the wheels leaning over with the body which uh, should help enormously. Lots of people have tried this sort of thing in the past, including myself. A lot of them have hydraulic systems, uh, programmed uh, processors to uh, collate information from lateral force sensors, etc. And uh, that's not always a great thing. It gets complicated, it gets expensive. So I decided to do it mechanically and with this particular thing I've got here, this is a prototype that's just tacked together, it's obviously not finished yet. Um, we have two pedals here for the rider's feet to go on, which will allow him to control the tilt of the vehicle. And as you can see, as we tilt over, the whole wheels of the assembly goes with it. And uh, we can also steer separately, as you can see from the steering wheel, we steer separately to the actual tilt. So the advantage here is that the mass of the rider will be on the inside of the turn. So as you turn and lean into the turn, you'll find that the mass of the rider will help stabilise the vehicle. This is a reverse trike, which is two wheels at the front, one at the back. It's not like the old uh, Reliant Robins that uh, they tried to fall over, of course. They were what you'd call a delta trike, with one wheel at the front, two at the back. Um, what happens here, as well as the rider mass going to the inside of the turn, the rear wheel, which is a single rear wheel, that actually goes out of the turn, which um, is also going to aid stability in turning. The proof is in the pudding, it's not finished yet, I'm going to get back to you when it's finished and show you a test ride. Thanks for watching.